Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can pause your game. Now, the process of pausing a game is actually very simple in Unity because it's a case of referencing the time scale of the game. So to do that we're going to create a C -sharp script and let's call it pause game. Now the general idea is we're going to create a few variables here in uh, this script and get rid of any uh, annotations and we don't need the start only the update so let's start with a public bool and we'll call it game paused and by default we'll make it equal to false semicolon and next we're also going to have a quick little pause menu so public and game object and let's just call it pause menu. Now the whole scene I have is just very very simple uh, at this point. It's just three objects rotating using uh, a little script just to rotate them. That's all it is. So within here all we need to do is if and input dot get button down and in brackets and quotes we then need to define which button we're going to use to pause the game. Now generally it should be the escape button but if we go back to Unity, go to Edit, Project Settings and Input, click on Axes, and here we have Cancel. So we're going to use this one, the name Cancel, because the positive button is Escape. So in here we type Cancel, quote, close bracket, close bracket, open curly bracket. And what we need to do now is check if the game is paused or not. So if, in brackets, game paused equals false which it currently is by default then what we need to do is start by going time dot time scale equals zero semicolon now the time scale in unity by default is one that's real time time scale at zero would freeze it completely however you'd still have control of input and things like that time scale at two would be double speed at this point we need to go game paused equals true because it is literally paused. I'll also put cursor dot visible equals true semicolon just in case and then we will go pause menu dot set active true so it brings up our pause menu and that's all we need to pause the game however we also need the inverse of that to unpause the game. So we need to go else and in curly brackets, literally the exact opposite. So it would be pause menu dot set active false because we need to turn it off. And then cursor dot visible equals false as well because that needs to go off. Game paused is equal to false again semicolon and then time dot time scale equals one semicolon and save so if we head into unity and uh, we shouldn't have an error on that script it's relatively simple perfect so if we go to game object create empty and then drag and drop pause game onto there We'll see a couple of things there now we haven't actually created the pause menu so what we'll do is quickly go into game object ui and just have uh, let's just have a panel i'm just going to resize the panel have it center width let's have it as 200 height let's have it as 300 uh, right click rename and just put pause menu and turn it off by default and then drag and drop onto there. And then let's press play. So now when we hit escape, it pauses the game and imagine this to be our pause menu. Press escape again and it unpauses and carries on. Now it's worth noting that the reason, uh, not everything would theoretically stop because not all things could theoretically rely on the time scale, but it's always a good idea. For example, this rotate object that I have attached to those objects 
has the rotate speed multiplied by time scale. So as long as time scale is always one, the rotate speed will always be that. So in this case, it's two multiplied by one. So when it becomes zero, it's two multiplied by zero. And as we all know, anything multiplied by zero is zero. So that's what freezes it. So now let's quickly create a little pause menu, which will allow us to even have a button to unpause the game. So on here, let's right click, add in a little bit of text, which just says paused. Let's put it to the top, uh, quickly have it white. And let's have some big text. Let's have 30, resize it. You know, it's, it's all about how you want to make your pause menu really. It's, it's not about creating a pause menu this tutorial. It's more about showing you how to do it. So let's create a button in there as well. So UI. Uh, button and let's just have the button say resume so on the text oops change caps resume game and uh, I'm just gonna have the button a bit of a different color let's have it a uh, greeny kind of yeah that'll do resume game and to get that working what we need to do is in the pause game script we need to have a new method so public void on pause game oh close bracket open curly bracket and we can literally copy these four lines of code into here and save so i'm sure you guys know how to get a button working uh, we'll just press on the plus down here and uh, drag and drop the game object which is that one there no function, pause game and unpause game. Let's turn off our canvas, uh, not our canvas, our pause menu and press play. And there we go. So we've got that. Let's pause and hit resume game. Perfect. And that is how to pause your game and even create a very simple pause menu in Unity. So I hope you learned something, guys. And thank you very much for watching.